Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today, I want to give you the seven D's to avoid YouTube drama. When I tell you my heart is hurt and heavy and my spirit is really disturbed about everything that's going on on a platform that I love so, so dearly, but God is still good and God will fix this, okay? So I wanted to share my seven tips, advice with you all to avoid YouTube drama. Be sure to share this video, comment, like, all of that good stuff because God has given me some good stuff. I was just strolling through um, Facebook and I saw something that one of my um, pastor friends was sharing about and I was like, oh my God. I can use this for what is going on with my YouTube family. So let's get into it. Dear YouTube drama. First thing, dear YouTube drama, discover. Discover who you are and what it is that you want to say on this YouTube platform. That's a lot of times we mess up we're coming on to YouTube because we see what everybody else is doing. And we have not took the time to discover what it is that we want to do. Of course, everybody wants to look good and everybody like beauty and everybody like fashion and we all have to eat. But is that really what God wants you to do? Discover what it is that God wants you to do. The first thing, dear discovery. Discover what this platform is for you. Number two, discern. Discern. I know a lot of people are not uh, scripture based and all of this, like she living is, and that is a okay. But most of the people that's on here, they believe in God. Whether it is that you sing your grace, you sing your prayers, you sing your blessing, whatever it is. I believe that you believe in God. So ask God for discernment. Dear discernment. What is discernment? Just insight. God giving you that first, second, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, however many eyes that you need. Ask God to give you discernment and insight on what to do, who to do it with, who to connect with. And if you are honest with yourself, I can almost guarantee that there was something that God have given you about whatever situation is going on that you was like, man, I should have listened to that. Man, I didn't think about that when they did this, when they moved like this and this and that. Because I'm going to tell you, people move way before they move and attack you. People move way before, and that is God showing you and giving you discernment. Dear discernment, number three, when God give you that discernment, distance yourself. Dear distance, distance yourself from anything that does not line up with whatever it is that God told you to do. Distance it. If a YouTuber is not on the, the line that you want to go to, distance. It does not matter if both of y'all are muck bangers or both of y'all are beauty channels or both of y'all are fitness or lifestyle or health, whatever it is. Just because we do the same thing, that does not mean that we're on the same platform or we're on the same goals or we're on the same vision or we got the same idea. I could very well be just doing muck bang to get into movies and somebody else could just be doing mukbangs just because doing it somebody else could be doing mukbangs to get brand deals or write books so just because you do the same thing that does not mean that you have the same goals distance yourself number four devote to what god has shown you stick with that 
Whatever it is that God has shown you, whatever it is that he had shown you for your channel, devote to that. Devote and commit to that. That's what's wrong. We're too busy trying to do what everybody else is doing. I'm going to do whatever my heart and my spirit says to do. I'm not just a mukbang channel. So devote to whatever it is that God has shown you. When you first upload that first video, what was the goal that God has shown you and devote to that? Number five, develop it. Develop it, develop it, develop it. Keep on at it, keep on at it, keep on getting better, keep on getting better and stop looking at everybody else. Just develop the vision that you have, that God has given you. Just develop the goals that God has given you. Develop, dear, develop. Number six, destiny. Walk in it. Walk in it. Walk upright. Walk true to what God has told you. Walk in it. It's your destiny. Whatever that God's shown you, if you see it, if you can see it, you can achieve it. It does not matter. Walk in your destiny. God gives us connections to people. He gives us relationships to people. It does not matter how big, how small. God is the ultimate connector. The thing about it is people are looking for people to raise you up. It does not matter if you are B-Love or Prince P or Steph and Tasha or, who, or uh, whoever, or Jackie Ina. It doesn't, the, whoever, it does not matter who you are. Your ultimate connection is God. You can't go higher than God. So whatever it is your destiny is, that's, that's your ordained destiny. Nobody can create your destiny. God outlines these things for people to connect with you, but nobody can make you go higher. Your favor lies in God. I did not search Be Love out. I did a video about Be Love and she found it. We have to, we have, to have more uh, trust in God than people. Nobody can control your success or where God taking you. Nobody can help. God is connect you to the people. But he is the ultimate multiplier. He is the, the, the ultimate mathematician. He does the adding. He does the taking away. He does the, the uh, multiplication. He is the ultimate adding to multiplying. He does the adding. Huh? Okay. Okay. My son just <laughs> messed up my whole video. Okay. Number seven, uh, dominion, dominion. Last but not least, dominion. God has given you the dominion to reign. He has given you the power to reign. We don't need nobody else but God. You have the dominion. Everything that God has placed inside of you, it is yours. Walk in it. You control your well, your foot tread. Wherever your foot tread, you have no dominion over that. Dominion. God gives you the power. He gives you the favor. He gives you the connections. All of this comes from the most high God. We have gotten off track as to who, who, has, who has the power, who has the authority, who has the favor. Man didn't give it and man can't take it away. God has the power to increase, decrease, add, subtract, multiply. He has the power. So you have to trust that everything that you need, God has it. It's not in man. Everybody, I think B-Love said this in her video. She does, she do the same as anybody else. Go to the bathroom, eat, shower, this and that. All of us bleed the same. We thank God for the connections. We thank God for the favor. But all of these people that are is uh, elevating to have the hundreds of thousands of subscribers, the, uh, the millions of subscribers, they relying on God. That favor comes from God. It does not come from man. There will never be another be love. There will never be another Prince P or Steph and Tasha or um, It's So Good or um, 
Jeffree Star, all the name, you know, all the big YouTubers, Tay and Lou, these people are assigned to this, this particular audience and they are for this particular season. You have to understand God may elevate people higher or he may keep you where you are. So it don't matter. You got to be content with whatever situation that you're in. Dear YouTube drama, walk in your discovery. Discover who you are and what it is that you want for this YouTube platform. Dear YouTube drama, dear discernment, ask God to give you insight on who to connect with and what to do. Just because I see you on YouTube does not mean I'm supposed to connect with you. And to my married couples, because I'm married as well, everybody can't come into your space. You are one. You are best friends. You are a partner in life. And sometimes you have to hold on to that uh, covenant for dear life. Everybody cannot come into your circle. Just because I see you on a platform does not mean I'm supposed to connect with you. Or I might like connect to, with you virtually. Distant. Distance yourself from anything that does not line up with your purpose. Distance yourself. From anything that does not line up with your purpose. Devote to your purpose and what God has shown you. Devote to it. And once you devote to it, start developing that. Start developing that. Walk in your destiny. Uh, God does the elevating. He does the exalting. He does the increase. He put people in our lives to help us, to elevate us to help get us to another level. It's no dis different than the person that's sitting beside you in your cubicle. It's no different than the person that's wor working beside you in Walmart. God does the increase. It's his favor. It's his anointing. It's his power. It's his grace that allows us to do all the things that we do. And last but not least, you have dominion over what God had placed you over. I don't care if it's a hundred of subscribers. I don't care if it's a hundred million. You have dominion over that. And, and, and thank God for it. And rejoice in it. Stop being envious and jealous and having so much strife. And be happy, genuinely happy for people. Thank you. Dear YouTube drama, and all you're getting, get understanding. Whatever you do, serve God, serve people, love God, love people. Bye.